We're gonna build a changing table for the baby room. It's gonna be the last piece of furniture to complete that project. We are excited to complete it too. Yeah, excited and get stuff organized and get ready for the baby. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go collect some logs. We have some pallets already. Let's go get started. Yeah. A good one, doesn't it? Yep. We uh couldn't get our chainsaw to run quite right, so I'm going old fashioned here. Yep. Not too bad. No. Nope. Nice, that looks good. Yeah, I like this one. Alright. Found another one. We're gonna use this piece. Oh. <laughs> Log uh, number two. Nice. Isn't that amazing? That it's like cool. almost perfect. It looks it's like seven. A, it looks like a cane. <laughs> Our old man cane. Yeah. <laughs> we got our final pieces. All four. All right, I cut all the little knots off. So they're ready to be debarked. Let's get started. Alright, got all the bark off, so it's time to start sanding them down and get all these little frilly things off. <laughs> the plan is to build two rectangles out of pallets, one for the top, one for the bottom, and then put the mesquite poles in as the four legs. We will fill the center with some shelves and put a top on it for the changing pad. And I think it should be fairly simple and pretty easy to put together. Got both boxes done, and then our changing pad fits right in there. That was our GoPro. Gotta ignore this. Uh, petrol might have gotten a little bit into our changing pad, so. Fits right in there nicely. We got a little bit of an edge for, I don't know, whatever we want not need in it. Next week, we just gotta knock our legs out, set these pieces in, build the internals. We have a really good plan now, and we should be able to finish this project up pretty quick. We're gonna get started back up on the changing table and hopefully we can get the baby room finished this week. That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Getting the first notches out and sets our height of how tall the changing table is gonna be, how tall the pad is gonna sit on there. And gives us a little bit of a ledge for some structure right here. Looks good. Getting them all sanded? Yep. Let's get her on. This but, side fits good though. Yeah, no, I, I like it. This is the bottom, and we'll need to cut it off flush. And then the top, we'll have to decide what we want sticking up as well. Now that we got the main frame of the changing table done, I'm gonna come over here and look through our pile of pallets and see if I can find some slack for the backing. I found some that I really like for the back slats. I'm gonna get started sanding them down and then we'll cut them to the right length. Hey, 
I got them all sanded down, so I'm gonna start trying to cut as many of these little ends off as I can, because the nails, it just really tears it up. So this one's gonna go right here. This is the bottom, so this one's gonna go flush. It's actually gonna be inside, like that. But for measuring ones, I'll do it this way. And then this top is gonna be just barely up, and it's gonna be a ledge for the sheet of plywood to sit on where the changing mat's gonna be. All right, I got all the backboards cut. I'm gonna get Darren to help me, and we're gonna get those nailed on. Okay, Ellie got all the outboards cut for the back of this thing in the center. Put those on, do back first. Look at that. Looks so good. Ellie put a little gap on each one of these, which was different from the crib. I like it. There was a big gap right here, so it really flows nicely all the way across. Yeah. It blends through really nicely. We got this ledge here that the plywood's gonna set on, and then we're gonna make another ledge on this side. This piece is a little too thin. We're gonna make another ledge right here and this will go all the way around and that's what the plywood will set on and we'll be able to screw to or actually in this case we'll be able to nail to it's going to be very strong probably be able to sit on it if you wanted to or not though because that is a significant weight difference shame to break cut some pieces out and then glue and nail them on How's it going? All right, got it all sanded. Garen got these little pieces on. Now we're just gonna put a piece of plywood on. Okay, drop it in this way. Drum roll, please. Oh, oh. like a glove. All sanded, nice and smooth. Now we can nail it in, right? I think so. Nice, babe. Oh, that looks so good. It does. Oh, I'm excited. Bit of glue. She's all nailed in, onto the center. It's looking really good, isn't it? I think it looks really, really good. Exactly what we're hoping for, and we just gotta put some bottom pieces in and a shelf. Shall we see if she fits? So had to persuade it fit. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Nice. Oh my man, that looks good. While Garen's working on the shelf here, I'm gonna start staining it. Go. And so it begins. The final piece. Yep. Shelf going in. That looks so good. Here. Gonna work. All right. Just finish up the staining and she'll be done, huh? I think so. Nice. Stain on the final board. Came together really good, didn't it? It did. 
I didn't know if it was gonna turn out. Yeah, I had my doubts too, but excited to see it in the room. Woo! She's done. Is that it? I believe so. Sweet. Very cool. So the changing table was the last piece to the baby room. The baby room's all done, which we're really excited about. Our little girl's due on January 17th. <laughs> now we just gotta wait for her to get here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like to help us out you can like this video share it subscribe or support us on patreon see the links in the description